Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan and this is my uh, memory journaling for the week of February 22nd through the 28th. So the final week of February. <laughs> and I don't know about you, but I'm very glad that it's over. And we are ready for a new month and spring and everything. Um, yeah, warm temperatures, sunshine, all of that. So that is kind of the direction that my spread went too. So the first thing I did, I used um, the one of the Mod Learner brush pens in kind of that, uh, oh, it's a blue color, but it's kind of a little bit of a gray tone to it. Uh, and then I just made a spot for the date. And I used, uh, I can't remember, I think this is a script sticker from uh, Sunshine Sticker Co. So uh, just that I had, you know, in my little, binder there, my reusable sticker binder that I have. And then I used that rolling stamp to mark out the dates. So, uh, and then I'm kind of have been collecting things throughout the week that I wanted to journal with. And I just put them into this box lid thingy that I, <laughs> that I had just kind of hold it all. Uh, and then I was kind of sorting through that pulling out some different things I wanted to use. Um, I didn't actually have any pictures this week, which was strange, but we didn't have a lot going on. So this is kind of more of an art journaling spread for this week. Uh, one of the main things that I really wanted to journal about is uh, my daughter and, and I, uh, our relationship and just kind of how we've become friends over the past year. And that's been really nice. Um, so that piece of collage there was from a real simple magazine. Actually, the, all three of those pieces there, the heart uh, with the hands together, and then that um, looks like a little lasagna dish. All of those came from real simple, I believe. Pretty sure. Um, so I put down that uh, piece of collage there with the, the two uh, girls standing there. It just kind of reminded me of us. So, and then the little hands there at the bottom. And I think, you know, I realized basically what this, this whole spread is about. Thursday night, we went to get groceries, all of us, all four of us. And I don't even know what my daughter and I started laughing at, but we could not stop laughing on the way home. And I was about to pee my pants. And then I got a cramp <laughs> in my diaphragm. And that made her laugh more because I was saying, I have a cramp, I have a cramp. And so she was laughing more and then she almost peed her pants and it was just a riot. And I realized, you know, how we've kind of come, she's 15, and kind of how we've come full circle with our uh, relationship. So, you know, we still have that mother-daughter, you know, relationship, but We've also become friends and we really enjoy doing things together. So that's kind of what I'm journaling about on the back of this little card that I got in some happy mail. And I was just journaling about the ride home from the grocery store um, on that little card. And then I just tipped it in with some scotch tape, which I end up having to move it because I put it directly in the middle of the book, which is usually what you do when you tip in. I just wasn't thinking because it's like a really thick cardstock so it wouldn't lay flat as you can kind of see there it's kind of standing up so I end up moving it a little bit uh, and then I used one of those little boxes there from those are the stickers that I got last week at Walmart that I showed in my journaling video from last week and I'm just journaling or just writing there um, just that I loved her and a little heart and the um so here's yeah, here's where I'm like realizing, okay, that's not going to work. It needs to lay down. So I just uh, took it out and moved it onto the actual page. Not super far in, but just enough that it would lay flat. And I could have probably used washi tape. It would have been, uh, yeah, added some little cute decor there. But I do end up adding some washi uh, to the card itself a little bit later. And then I had all of these really cute quotes from that big 100 piece uh, sticker pack of quotes that I got from Amazon. And I showed it a couple of videos back, but I will link it below. I'll link all the stuff for you guys below. Um, and so I wanted to put those in there to just kind of, yeah, things I was feeling. And then I 
used my new washi set that I also talked about last week in my video um, that I got from Michaels. It's florals and butterflies. It's just really springy and happy and I loved the colors and it kind of coordinated with that piece of collage with those girls on it. So all of those colors kind of going together. And so now I'm just kind of putting washi down in random, <laughs> random places, um, you know, just to add a little bit of color and a little more stuff to my page. And then I'm leaving uh, places to be able to journal. Um, like I said, we didn't have a lot going on. So yeah, it's more of art journaling and then talking about our, <laughs> our boring week, except for the laugh fest. And then on the next page, I will uh, journal about the weather and stuff like that. So it was kind of one of those spreads that I didn't really know <laughs> yeah I, I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do until we I realized that with my daughter and then I was like you know what I'm gonna journal about that because that's important and I want to remember it and I feel like my kids one day when they look through my journals that they can read these things and you know just yeah have it be a treasure to them so uh, and then I am using this happy planner uh, sticker book here to um, use some of those little stickers I like to journal on and it wouldn't nothing would stick to these washies so I end up adding some glue uh, to them to the back of the stickers as I put them down just to kind of make them stick to the actual washi and then uh, there I was just journaling about how we had a pretty basic week and oh and I did try this was the, the other kind of highlight uh, which is, yeah, the little lasagna collage picture up in the corner there. So I tried some new recipes using um, frozen our frozen hamburgers that we have. And um, I wanted to, we have a gob of them. And so I wanted to start using them a little bit more other than just making burgers on the grill, you know. <laughs> so I went to Pinterest and looked up some recipes and found some really good ones. And so... I tried those this week and, or last week and they were they were both a hit. So one was a sloppy joe casserole and the other one was um kind of like a Salisbury steak. So they were both really good. And then at the bottom I'm just journaling about my daughter and that whole story about <laughs> the groceries and just how we've become close and the things that we like to do together and uh just have that special time like when we watch a Marvel movie, because she totally got me hooked on those. Uh, after years of saying, nope, I don't like superhero movies. I don't, I don't, I don't do those. She finally, <laughs> over um, quarantine, when she had COVID in December, uh, she convinced me to watch one and then it was, yeah, it was all over for me. <laughs> I was hooked. So, anywho, I was just journaling about our relationship there in the space and I'm using those Sarasa dry uh, pens the vintage ones because I was totally influenced by Emily <laughs> at Emily Lou Arts and I love those pens you know it's funny because the colors just go with whatever spread you're doing I mean yeah I have a lot of colors going on in the spread but you know you could I think I used like the maroon color and then the it's kind of like a greenish blue color on the next page. And I just, I love them. So very glad that I bought them. Okay, so now I'm putting down that little piece of collage uh, with the, I think it looks like a lasagna, but it just really represented the uh, dishes that I made because they were both kind of casserole-like. And then I grabbed this uh, sticker book that I got from Amazon, and I still haven't taken the pages out of it, but I need to, because you'll kind of see how <laughs> they're ripping, and yeah, it was $5, but $5 for all these stickers. I don't care what kind of binding it had, whatever, right, because the stickers are cute, so I'm just going to pull them out and put them into my sticker binder, so just haven't done that yet, so I'm just kind of flipping through here. Uh, my um, well, inspiration is not the right word. What am I looking for? My idea of what I wanted to do on 
the right hand side of the spread was sunshine and spring and all things like that so i was flipping through here to try to find like something that went with that sun um you know skies just the outside yeah spring and summer so um i didn't really find anything but i did find that little cute orange heart so i pulled that out and put it there on the spread with my daughter and then the other one that says i think you're cool so um i put that down there uh, it's a little thought bubble which i thought was cute right above their heads just kind of went with what i was feeling and how i how i interpreted that picture so uh, and then i have my hello day girl stickers here that i'm using and you guys they are still not in stock and i don't know i keep checking and they're just out of stock and i'm not sure it says they don't know when or if they will get them back so i don't know what that means but typically amazon's pretty good about bringing things back so i'm not i'm not sure so sorry about that guys um, but i will link them below if, in case you want to keep checking to see if they're in stock so i'm just adding those uh, little girls all over the spread um, just to kind of add a little bit of i don't know <laughs> I, you know because there's a spot so you want to put stuff, something there um I, so i added some washi to that card and then i also added a little uh, love this um i don't know it's like a header to the card and this choose happiness sticker from that sticker book that happy planner sticker book that i showed earlier i cut it apart and then just layered it on there so i have this piece of collage that i'm using because i couldn't find anything uh sunshine which you know sunshine related so that's what i <laughs> that was the best i had but i think it turned out great because you can't really tell it's a flower the way that it tore and it's just bright and sunshiny, so it's perfect. So I went ahead and glued that down as kind of um, the background for the spread, just to kind of uh, the foundation for it or whatever. I don't know the terms. <laughs> I just layer stuff until I think it looks good. I don't know. Um, and this is that sticker book again, and so I'm just kind of taking some uh, stickers from that just to layer on to write some different things on and it has a lot of boxes which is the reason that I wanted it because and then also for the quotes so this one that I pulled out that says happy and then the other one says look on the bright side because for the whole yeah, yeah I, I know I've said this I said this is my plan with me and I said it earlier in the video but uh, February was just rough and I'm very glad that it's over and it just reminded me like the weather last week was beautiful it really wasn't that warm I mean it was in like the 30s and 40s uh, but for us it felt like spring right because the snow was melting and after two weeks of below zero temperatures it was it was just amazing and so look on the bright side right it will not last forever winter will not last forever so I wrote in that little box, spring is coming soon. So I think it's um, March 20th, I think is the first day of spring. So, um, and then this washi from Mandy Lynn Plans, I layered on there. This kind of has the, the rainbow color, just all the colors in it that I was going for in this spread, as usual. <laughs> you guys know I love color. Uh, and then I'm just putting a couple more pieces of that down in different spots. And then this is another washi from that set from Amazon or from, did I say Amazon earlier? I meant Michael's. Sorry about that. It's um, the recollection. It's on the um, rack, like kind of in the middle of the craft section there and the flowers and stuff. It's like hot by whatever it's called. I don't know. Anyway, they were the ones that were on sale where you buy one, get two for free. So, um, and I will link that below as well. So I pulled out this sticker from that sticker book, the happy planner one, and I'm just journaling on that about the weather because it was so amazing. And it really does, you know, it's, it's just crazy how you can be in the winter doldrums and it is 
just horrible and you that depression that comes with winter is real and when you have finally a day of sunshine and warmth you know even if it isn't temperature warm necessarily it is so healing and like I just want to sit outside in the grass <laughs> and just soak it in I couldn't because there was still snow and then it was a sloppy mess but um you get what I'm saying so um it's just, it's beautiful. So then I'm just putting in some stickers here. I found some sun stickers in that little Sweet Quiet Design book from Michaels. So I want to put those kind of around the page and then the little sunglasses. And that girl, the Hello Day Girl sticker there where she's got her windows open. That, look, it was 30 degrees last week, but I was ready to open those windows. I didn't open them until it was like, 40, uh, like mid forties. I think it hit 44, the, uh, one of the days last week and I cracked the windows just enough, you know, to let that fresh air in. And oh, I love it. If you could make that into a candle, you could be a millionaire because <laughs> that, that outside smell is just, there's nothing like that. Uh, and then this is another quote sticker from that sticker pack from, uh, Amazon. And it just says, be happy, not because everything is good, but because you can see good in everything. And that was exactly, yeah, how I was feeling. <laughs> and then there at the top, I'm just journaling about how February was really rough, snowstorm after snowstorm, and how cold it was. I mean, it was just crazy. So not unusual for Iowa. Um, last year, I know we had some really cold spells, and we even had what are called frost quakes, which I don't know if that's like a new thing. I'd never heard of it. Um, but you would just be, it was usually at night because it would obviously get colder at night and you would just hear this pop. It was almost like a gunshot is actually what we thought it was at first. And we live in the middle of the country, which we hear, you know, gunshots all the time, like, you know, hunters and people target practicing and stuff like that. But, um, it was close. So then they were talking about it on the news and that's what it was, frost quakes. So something about where the ground like flash freezes or something in the frost, I don't know, anyway. Something about the frost in the ground freezes too quickly and makes that huge popping sound. It's really weird, but it's creepy until you know what it is. So anyway, that was kind of a rabbit trail. Sorry about that. Uh, and then I just um, lettered in the word spring there with a little Tombow marker. Um, and so I decided I wanted to decorate for March. So I just decided to include, include all of this in uh, one video because it really wasn't long enough to um, do a video by itself. It's just this one page here. So I just included it. Uh, I put down this uh, free printable, free printable from Brooke Ava prints on, she's on Etsy, and then she also has her own shop, but you can go to her uh, Instagram and click on her bio, and I'll include that below if you uh, link to her shop too, if you'd like to go there and check that out, and so I printed it out on vellum, and was just kind of layering it here. That card I put down on the left was from AliExpress, like, I don't know, two or three years ago. Um, so I put that down and then the washi on the right uh, is actually a little washi card that, uh, there it is right there, you can see it. Um, Emily from Emily Lou Arts sent me um, last summer, I think it was. So I've just kind of, I've used a little pieces of it here and there, but it's so pretty. It, it was exactly what I was envisioning in my mind for March. Uh, so I put that down and then I'm moving that March sticker, uh, which is from Mandy Lynn Plans to kind of layer some more washies and stuff on there. And that green, I don't know, someone sent me that green wash, that green polka dot washi, so I have no idea um, where that's from. So I'm gonna guess it's from Michael's. It just kind of reminds me of something that uh, like the recollections line would have. And so I'm just kind of layering, layering until it looks good. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's really fun to do that. So I really enjoy this. And then that washi is from Michael's, that striped washi from the Recollections line. 
and it was like in a set. So I layered that on there and I just kind of wanted a little bit more color, um, but not another floral. So I chose the stripe. And then this God is good sticker also came from that sticker pack from Amazon. And I thought, you know, that's, that's spring, right? He's faithful. We're always going to have spring and <laughs> winter will not last forever. Kind of like other seasons in our lives when we're struggling, different things like that. Um, yeah, it won't last forever. Uh, so I ended up moving that March sticker completely onto that green washi just because I thought it needed to be in the middle there. And then I also decided to decorate this page of my journal with this really pretty floral um, piece of collage that I got from... I think it was real simple. And I'll just read what it says here. It says, write away your, write away your worries. So she's talking, it's a, it was an article, she's talking about journaling. Journaling is a lot like meditating. It brings you into the present and helps you process jumbled thoughts. Experts share approaches that can yield surprising insights about your life by Rachel Sylvester. So that was the article, but I liked that excerpt from the um, article there, just, yeah, journaling. So even though I don't tend to write a lot about my feelings, I've kind of noticed that about myself uh, last year with journaling. Sometimes I do. It really just depends on my mood. A lot of times I'm, I'm journaling uh, to be creative and, and to preserve memories. So it isn't necessarily... Um, you know, me journaling about my feelings and stuff, but it's still that thing that kind of fills my cup being creative and I just really enjoy it. So I layered some washies, which I think somebody told me that those were from Planner Society, maybe uh, the green and the purple. I just pulled those colors out of the collage picture and layered those. And then this little um, picture is from the Hobonichi insert that comes with your planners that you buy. And I thought, she's sitting there journaling, it's perfect. And then this little uh, purple washi is from Michael's. It was a set of all different colors in that uh, same size, that really skinny washi size. So, uh, And then I just kept going. <laughs> uh, I wanted to cover up that page of um, the calendar, the year in view the years in view calendar and yeah because I don't use it it's 2020 and then 2022 on the bottom and I just don't use it but I wanted to do some more art journaling because I have this picture of this girl with her hair up and her sunglasses with the beach and like reflecting in her sunglasses and I thought that peaceful feeling you know that joy like that's what that's what my journal represents for me. So I wanted to include that in my journal. So I decided to go ahead and make a little spread out of it. And that uh, washi I put down is from that set from Michael's again. Uh, and it's just like a, it kind of looks like uh, just paint swatches or le little leaves, petals. I'm not exactly sure but what it is supposed to be, but it's very abstract. So. I liked it. And then the washi that I put at the bottom says bloom and flourish. That is also from that same set. And then the just breathe sticker and the choose joy sticker are both from that quote set from Amazon. And this washi came in that set from Michael's as well. So, um, and then I just layered that choose joy sticker, trying to find the right spot for it. <laughs> Felt weird to put it on her head, uh, so I moved it to the bottom. And choose joy. That's my motto. So I try to, to focus on choosing joy, even when I'm not feeling joyful. And usually, joy comes. So that's my journaling for the week, guys. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye.